We were in court when an active duty Marine faced a judge today for a Christmas night rampage that forced families from their homes. Police say that the Marine fired several shots throughout his home, terrifying a Vista neighborhood. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is live outside the Vista courthouse with why his attorney says this is going to be a complicated case to prosecute. Steve. I take it the attorney indicated here that the uh, uh, client is a victim himself suffering from PTSD and that if this does go to trial then there's going to be some very interesting details coming out. Christopher Johnson was soft-spoken and composed as he stood for his arraignment. A far cry from Christmas night when he was the focus of a SWAT action at this apartment in Vista. It included an Astria helicopter which required a PA announcement to try and get Mr. Johnson to come out of his residence. Meanwhile, neighbors were being evacuated under the protection of armed SWAT officers. There was a flash grenade used and eventually a robot had to go into the residence to secure Mr. Johnson. Nearly five hours later, Johnson surrendered. Four shots had been fired from his 44 Magnum, two into his flat screen television, another through a window screen. The fourth could have been very dangerous. It went through his front door. He's just shooting out of nowhere. Like he shot like four shots. There was a apartment directly across from his apartment. It went through the door. It went through that neighbor's window and fragments were found on the kitchen table. Luckily, the residents that were in the apartment at that time were all asleep and no one was injured. Judge Martin Staven continued bail at $25,000, ordered Johnson to stay on base, no alcohol, no firearms, and he must wear a scram device like this one. It'll monitor his home detention and any alcohol use. Neighbors told 10 News that Johnson was recently divorced and drinking heavily. Deputies confiscated several handguns and rifles from the apartment. His attorney wouldn't speak on camera, but told us Johnson has been deployed three times with the Marine Corps, and the issue of post-traumatic stress disorder will be important to his defense. The charge two felonies, negligent discharge of a firearm and shooting at an occupied dwelling. If he's convicted, he faces up to seven years in prison. Live in Vista, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.